I got a dad that I wish I never had. He used to kick the sweet shit out of me whenever I was bad. Like he was fucking glad just to see me sad. He was really happy when I thought he was mad. This is the only piece I'll ever write about my dad and how he'd lay into me and beat my ass. No drugs, he never booze, just abused with no excuse. I back talked once, got my fucking jaw knocked loose. The belt taken time and time again to my caboose. Now I just rhyme and rhyme again because I so choose to be inspired by this loser. But it's a one-shot deal, so don't get used to it. I'm gonna take you to the... I'm gonna start at the beginning, I'm gonna take you through it. Here we go, it's 1985. Let's get to it. I was four years old and he called me a disgrace. He punched my young face, kicked me out of our place and yelled from the window, You're a waste of space! I can still remember the way my tears taste, the way my fears laced every decision I made. Daddy said to do it and I just obeyed. What a great way to create hate. See, it's not my fault I hate things, it's the way I was raised. When I was a kid, I never really got to play and I never had friends because Daddy liked it that way. One time the children's aide tried to take me away and Daddy blamed me and beat me up later that day. He hung me with a belt from the shower rod and at an early age I learned there really is no God. In grade three, Shel Silverstein taught me how to write fucking poetry. I started memorizing pages from the dictionary, and so began the journey of the POE. Now, enter to the picture Vanilla ICE. Taught me at a young age to flow so precisely, and things for a while were going quite nicely, till Daddy found out that's when shit got ugly. See, Daddy was a racist. He lived in Middle Ages, and he found the rhymes I wrote and hidden. He tore up the pages, said in rages that he hated black faces. The waste of space. No son of mine will act this way. He found my ice ice baby tape, and we got in a fight. He snapped the cassette while I cried and screamed, he's white! And part of me died that day, but a part of me was born that day. The more upset I got, the better rapper I became, and I was never the same when it sunk into my brain that emotion is the tool that fuels this game! So mommy and me left. Daddy went away. Karma bit him in the ass, now he has no legs. I bought a new Ice Ice Baby, this time on CD. I started writing rhymes again, became the P.O.E. The poetically organized entity. And now you're pretty much caught up with the hip hop side of me. My mind creates these lines. I sleep and taste these lines. I live and die these rhymes because I said them so many times. I walk a fine line between depression and mayhem. My rhymes round me all up and calm me down when I say them. It's a piece of my mind that I find through my pen. And if the words aren't perfect, I'll just write them again. But with a childhood, there's no do over, no mulligan, never again. Just like this song when it ends. We'll never be friends, it's too late to make amends. Even though you're old now and probably wearing depends. All you ever taught me was hate and pain. And what time can't wash away, I carry with me every day. Daddy took me to a place that almost made me insane. And I can't change the past, it remains today. So, this is maybe why I make them off testy. Fueled by hate, tiny bit aggressive. The the list of shit I've been through and dealt with is impressive and I guess I might be slightly damaged, but you get the message. Woo!